एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू अक्षता रेसिपीज थैंक यू सो मच फॉर स्टॉपिंग बाय see loads and loads of christmas recipes coming up on my channel most of my recipes are from handed down to me by my mom in her uh, christmas recipe book let's get started with today's recipe so in a pan i'm going to take about 250 grams or 1 and 1/4 cup of powdered sugar and to this we are going to add 400 ml or 1 and 2/3 cup of water on a low to medium flame we are going to continuously stir this mixture till all of the sugar gets dissolved in the water Now once our sugar dissolves we are going to be add we're going to add 250 g or 1 and 1/4 cup of rava or semolina now i prefer using the very fine semolina or rava because that is much more easier to work with rather than the thick rava but it's up to you if you feel like using the thicker rava or semolina you can go ahead with that now we're going to add 1 teaspoon of salt we're going to give everything a very good mix remember we're cooking on a low to medium heat keep stirring and now we're going to add 230 g or 2 and 1/4 cup of desiccated coconut now if you stick to all the measurements of all the ingredients your bolina bolinas will come out perfect now we're going to add just 2 tablespoons of clarified butter or ghee and then we're going to give everything a very good mix we're going to cook this for about 5 minutes on a low heat now your heat has to be low to medium preferably more on the lower side and just mix everything well together Now if you work with a non-stick pan it's much more easier because it's easier to work with the mixture Now after 5 minutes switch off the flame and we are going to transfer this uh, mixture into a glass bowl or a steel bowl we're going to cover this and we have to rest this mixture for 12 hours this is very very important for this recipe You can even keep it overnight in a nice cool place. You don't need to refrigerate it. Now, after twelve hours, we are going to add three egg yolks, two teaspoons of cardamom powder, one teaspoon of baking powder, three tablespoons of maida or all-purpose flour. Now, in a separate bowl, we are going to whisk the egg whites of those three eggs, and once it's nice and nice and fluffy like this, we're going to add this to the mixture, and then we're going to give everything with a good mix, and then we're going to knead it to a very soft and sticky dough. Now this dough is going to be very very sticky. It's not going to be a uh, dryish dough it's going to be more on the sticky side now we're going to line a baking tray with some parchment paper or baking paper dust your hands with some maida or dry flour and preheat your oven to 180 degrees celsius for about 10 to 15 minutes this is very important to preheat your oven and then we're just going to roll them into small little balls now i like to make the bolinas very small and you know they look very nice and dainty but you can stick to whatever you like you can make them a little bigger but i found that if you make the bolinas nice and small they cook evenly and they look very pretty on your christmas tray too so this is how they look and then you can either use a very sharp knife and make the traditional uh, bolina cut so what i like to do is just take a fork like this and first you know use it horizontally and then vertically and then you get this nice criss cross pattern but you can also take a knife and just uh, cross it out in the traditional way now you may have to dust your hands many times while making these bolinas because the dough is very very sticky 
but the end result is really divine and you can also just dip your fork in some dry flour that helps to make the pattern too and now we're going to bake this in a uh, preheated oven at 180 degrees celsius for 35 minutes but keep checking because everyone's oven is different and after 35 minutes of baking and having a lot of patience the bolinas are all ready. The aroma in my home is just unbelievable. And the taste of these bolinas is just beautiful. So they are nice and golden brown. And they are even nice and brown on the base of the bolinas. They have baked so well. And the inside of the it, that is the coconut and the rava or semolina mixture also has baked so well. I'm trying to focus it here so you can see it, but it's really nice and baked and it is so moist. Uh, and the moisture is because we have let this mixture rest for 12 hours. You can even keep it for a little longer time, but that is very key and to this recipe. And then you'll get the perfect bolinas. So I hope you liked today's recipe. I hope you give it a try this Christmas and do let me know in the comments box uh, how they turned out. You can send me pics of these uh, bolinas that you made on my Facebook page. I am very active on Facebook and Instagram under the name Akshita's Recipes. So you can send me pics over there of uh, how your bolinas try turned out. And uh, do visit my channel. I have got loads and loads of Christmas recipes there. And I uh, will be coming up with many more. You can uh, you can uh, go and visit uh, my uh, home page, and there's something called a playlist. And there is a whole Christmas section over there where I have put all my recipes for the last two years. That is, I've put milk cream, I've put marzipan recipes, kalkals, nuris, chana dos and uh, milk toffee there's a walnut uh, fudge so many recipes for you to go and check it out so i hope you do that and thank you for watching loads of recipes on my channel so go and check them out i will leave a link of all my recipes that i've put up for the past two years for the past two christmases you'll find all the links in my description box below so i hope you enjoyed today's recipe and I hope you will give it a try. Do let me know in the comments box below what you thought of today's recipe. And uh, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up by hitting the thumbs up icon. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Do share my recipes with family and friends. And be sure to go and check out Akshita's recipes. I have loads and loads of recipes. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you in my next video. Take care. Bye. First Noel, the angel did say, was to certain poor shepherds in fields as they lay, in fields where they lay keeping their sheep on a cold winter's night that was so